my top three tips to help your muscles recover after you've been doing a workout or if you're new to fitness uh, is something called DOMS, which is delayed onset muscle soreness. We all get it when I started this program because it's pretty tough. Um, I was really, really sore. So number one, what you want to do is make sure you are foam rolling and stretching. Um, you want to stretch after every single workout. Never ever feel that you can get away by cardio or weights and then walk away without doing your stretching. Your stretching is as important, if not more important, than the workout itself. Your muscles need that stretch in order to recover fully. Also just helps to sort of cleanse the muscle tissue, the connective tissue from the toxins and the acid that may have built up during your workout. Foam rolling is amazing. Uh, if you've got a foam roller, use it. Um, it's awesome for sort of like releasing the connective tissue. If you may, may have heard of knots in your muscles, it's actually not a knot. It's when the connective tissue that lays over the top of the muscle um, becomes inflamed and it actually grabs onto the muscle and that creates like this adhesion. And that's what you break down really effectively with either massage or foam rolling. But of course, foam rolling, you can do at home. Um, it's I just it's fantastic. And if you're rolling on like, say your thighs and you're just thinking, oh, that bit's really sore. That's the bit you need to keep rolling on, I promise. Number two is Epsom salt baths. Um, magnesium sulfate is the sort of chemical that is in an Epsom salt bath, as well as being super relaxing. Uh, magnesium is known as like a calming mineral. It is really good if you struggle with anxiety and depression. It helps alleviate that. It, it really does help you just calm down. Um, it's also been linked to um, benefits of diabetes too because it helps with the insulin and the glucose within our bodies. It's also been linked to studies uh, showing that it's beneficial for things like Alzheimer's, um, heart health. Magnesium is really really crucial to our, our overall health. You can get it through diet. Um, if I think it's almonds, cashews and spinach are three of the highest uh, nutritional sources of magnesium, dark chocolate, yay, um, fatty fish, soy tofu, um, you know, that sort of thing. If you're, if you're eating legumes, so beans, chickpeas, lentils, that sort of thing, you're going to get um, a good dose of magnesium as well. So I, in fact, I've actually got a sheet. If you want me to send you that, it's got like the top 10 sources of magnesium from foods that you can have, um, that you can get, just DM me and I'll send that to you. And then finally is um, keep moving. Never ever think, oh my God, I can't walk up the stairs. My thighs are killing me. I can't sit on the toilet and get off it again. My thighs are killing me or my shoulders are torched. Move. You absolutely have to move. Even if it's just a stretch session the day after, if it's walking, if it's a bit of yoga or Pilates, just move. When you, when you stop moving, your body tends to seize up. It's the worst thing you can do when you've got sore muscles. And I know I only said three tips, but just drink loads of water as well. Water is just essential to our health. So make sure you're drinking plenty of water. So those are my three main tips. Um, Epsom salt baths, foam rolling and keep your body moving.